Hey, thanks for coming back. Today is day two of journal where we're really kind of confused. I'm trying to be a really good person, but it's not working out that way. It appears that I told somebody that my really shy and good friend broke a school window and then it was kind of mentioned that maybe I did it. I don't really know what happened though that I can't remember any of this. So let's move on to day two and see where that leads us. Maybe mum has more insight on this. Oh, there you are. Were you looking for me? I had a phone call from Mrs. Martin earlier. Who the heck is Mrs. Martin? My math teacher? Why? Uh-oh. This is not good. She didn't say. She was calling to see if you, if she could have a word with you. I guess I'll go and see her later. Don't forget, honey. I won't, Mom. Maybe I'll talk to Mom about Elena. Maybe she knows more to the story. About Elena? Oh, yes. Are you seeing her today? Um... We might. If we run into her, we might talk to her. Maybe. I'm not sure. Tell her hi for me if you see her. Yeah. I'll do that. She's always welcome to come over. So apparently she doesn't know any more than I do. We're supposed to go see our math teacher, Mrs. Martins. You know, it's always really rainy on the walk through. Or maybe that's not supposed to be rain, it's just the art style. But it makes me feel like it's really rainy. Oh, we can go in the school now. I don't think we're ready to talk to Elena yet. See what the math teacher has to say. Ooh, who are you? I wish I knew Keith better, but he doesn't talk much about himself. He works really hard, but everyone still likes him. Hmm. Weird. What's up, Keith? Not much. Looking forward to getting home later, actually. I think everyone's looking forward to going home. Yeah. But I've got this bike I'm working on. I just feel like I could be getting so much more done if I was there. Huh. Keith, who the heck are you? We'll continue the conversation about the bike. A bike? That's so cool. <laughs> yeah, it's just a project. I'm trying to restore it. It should be really nice when I'm done. So is this like the cool kid at school, but he's also smart? I think that's what I'm gonna feel for here. I don't really know anything about motorbikes. Heh. <laughs> They're just like any other machine, really. Once you know what the parts do and where they go. How do you know all this stuff? The motorbike was my father's. That's why I want to restore it. Something me and my brother do together. I'd love to see it when it's done. Haha. <laughs> Maybe. It's gonna take us a long time yet. Are you gonna ride it when it's finished? I'm not sure. It's kind of special. A classic. I want to keep it nice once it's all restored. Let me know when you get it fixed. I bet it'll be great. Who's Catherine? Have you spoken to Catherine recently? Yeah, kinda. She borrowed one of my books a while ago, but she hasn't given it back yet. I could ask her about it for you. It's okay. I'm sure she'll give it back when she's read it. I'm just not sure she even wants to read it. Why did she ask you for it if she wasn't interested in reading it? <gasps> Maybe Catherine likes him and just wants to pretend that she likes the book. I don't know. She saw me reading it and asked to borrow it afterwards. This isn't the first time. I think Catherine likes her. You mean she's borrowed stuff from you before? Yeah. And uh, it's always difficult to get it back. I should learn to stop lending her things. Maybe she's just interested in the same stuff as you. I think it's more like she wants to be interested in whatever I like. Ah, see, Catherine does like Keith. Maybe that's typical Catherine. You mean she's up to something? I don't know anything. I'm shutting my mouth. I've already got bad rep around here. 
No, nothing like that. It just sounds like her. That's all. Right. Well, I kind of just want my book back. I'm sure you'll get it back eventually. I actually just wanted to lend it to someone else, so I hope she's done with it soon. I'll mention it to her. It's not surprising that Catherine's been all over Keith. <laughs> if they got together, the whole school would be talking about it. Ooh, I want to know who Catherine is. But we have to talk about test first. So, I had that test. Oh yeah? The math one? <gasps> I see what's going on here. I remember you were worried about- Oh, I remember you were worried about it. How did that go? Oh yeah, the math one? That's probably why I have to talk to the teacher. I remember you were worried about it. How did that go? I don't know yet. Maybe not so great. Oh man, that sucks. Still, look on the bright side. If you keep retaking it, you'll eventually get the answers, right? Oh, brutal. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Feel very reassured. I've been told that I'm a very reassuring person. I have a way with words. <laughs> Is that so? Good luck on your retake. I don't know if I have to retake it yet. <laughs> I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. He's just like goes nowhere with his conversation. Nice talking, Keith. Yeah, catch you later. Well, how about that? How do I get to the math hall? No, I think that's just another person. Oh, staff room, class one, two, and three. Do I go in the staff room? Mrs. Martin is a good teacher. She can be strict, but she hasn't forgotten what it's like to be a kid. Ah, that's good that the math teacher is actually understanding. There you are! I've been trying to get a hold of you all morning. Sorry, I'm here now. You wanted to see me? Yes, I did. Tell me, how are things at home? Uh, we're gonna tell her shit's all good because this seems weird. They're okay, I guess. It's not very positive. That's good to hear. Any problems? You let me know, okay? Yeah, I will. Is that what you wanted to talk to me about? Actually, I wanted to talk to you about the math test you took the other day. Did I fail? I don't, I don't have to retake it, do I? Not exactly. Tell me. Do you know that your answers were exactly the same as other students? As another students? What? Okay, so I break windows and I cheat on tests. No, I didn't copy anyone's answers during the test. I'm not talking about similar answers. There's only one answer to these questions and most students write something similar. But your answers are the same, word for word. Who else had the same answers as me? Catherine, I know you two are friends. Perhaps you'd like to talk to each other about what happened? Alright, I'll ask her. Thank you. Don't forget. She knew something was suspicious about the test. Hmm. But I didn't know what to tell her. I think we're gonna go talk to Catherine. I'm not sure what to do here. Maybe we'll just have to retake the test? Will I have to take the test again? That depends on how all this happened. If you or Catherine were cheating, one of you will have to retake the test. The same one? I really can't say at the moment. Why don't you just go and have a chat with Catherine and come back to me later? I'll ask her about it. I would have done anything to pass the math test. The last thing I wanted to do was have to take it again. All right, so where would Catherine be? In a school or in a class? Not a whole lot we can do in this classroom. What about in this one? Is that Catherine? Catherine's got some pretty rocking clothes there. She's got the vest with the shirt tails hanging out. Anne's always been a really good student and that's it's never not Catherine. changed. Catherine. She's really smart, but she takes things so seriously that some people tease her for it. Oh. Hey Anne, what are you up to? 
Oh, hi. I'm looking for my geography notes. You haven't seen them, have you? No, sorry. Um, I'm gonna talk to her about Catherine. I'd like to learn more. Maybe I'll find out where Catherine is. Have you seen Catherine today? Yeah, she's here somewhere. Why? I was hoping to talk to her. Well, you're in luck. She's actually decided to come in today. <laughs> so Catherine isn't a real good student. Thanks, I'll find her later. I don't know why she's so popular. Hmm, we'll be supportive. I think she's nice. There's a good reason she's popular. What is it? I don't know. She's a, she's just cool. You don't think so? Not really. She doesn't seem very nice to me. Ah, No wonder it'd be like a big thing if Catherine and Keith got together. You just don't know her very well. I'm not sure you do, either. Ooh. Starting shit. Alright, we don't want to talk to you anymore. I should go. See you later. So, maybe Catherine's in that main hall down here? I've always envied Catherine a little bit. She's beautiful Ooh. and popular, and even though she's not that smart, almost everyone likes her. Ah. Hey, Catherine. What's up? Hey, have you seen Anne today? She's running around like a headless chicken. Did you do something? No. Why would I bother? Uh, she... Did she take her notes? Maybe Catherine pranked her. Maybe we should stop teasing Anne for a bit. Are you serious? You're not backing out now, are you? I just think maybe it's not that fun anymore. Oh, come on. Shh, don't... Don't being so serious. <laughs> We're just playing with her a bit. She needs to lighten up. I don't think she likes it much. Since when were you her best friend? I'm not. I didn't say I liked her. Just... Nobody does, do they? She's such a little bookworm. Like, right now, she's having a tantrum about her notes again. Man, I don't think I like Catherine. Rah! She's just studying really... Takes studying really seriously, I guess. You guess. It's like life and death with her. She gets good grades, though. Of course she does. If she studied that much and still failed, there'd have to be something wrong with her. I don't know why I go along with Catherine messing Anne around so much. Anne's not so bad, really. Ah. Alright. Maybe we'll ask about that book for Keith. I think Keith wants his book back. What book? He said you borrowed one from him and didn't give it back? Oh, yeah. Hey, wanna know a secret? Oh, crap. You didn't read it, did you? Nope. Why would I? I don't even remember what it was about. So, she does just like her, but she's the popular girl. Can't she just get him? So why did you borrow it? You can learn a thing or two from me, you know. You should try it out with Trevor. <gasps> Who's Trevor? I know you think Trevor likes me, but... What's there to think about? Only you wouldn't notice something like that. Well, well, he just wants his book back. Fine, I guess I'll dig it out. Alright, and last but not least, we need to find out about the math test. I don't know what went on. Did I cheat off of Catherine? Did Catherine cheat off of me? I don't want to retake the darn thing. You know that math test we had? Yeah, what about it? Did you fail or something? No, well, I don't know. But what did you do with those answers I gave you? <gasps> what do you mean, what did I do? I used them, of course. That was the whole point. You didn't change them at all? You just used them exactly how they were? Well, yeah, those were the answers. Why would I change them? Honestly, I don't get you. What is this even about? Um, I 
I don't know. We're gonna be worried. Because we might get busted now. I think you've gotten us both in trouble. Me? It was your idea to share the answers around. You were supposed to change the answers a little bit, so it wasn't obvious we knew what to write. You didn't say that to me at the time. I thought it was obvious! Maybe you know all about the unwritten rules of cheating, but I don't have time for that kind of thing. Wow, Catherine's a bitch. <laughs> it's just common sense. Now one or both of us is going to have to retake that test, probably. It was your idea. I'm not going to retake the test to make up for it. Frick off, really? This isn't helping. I don't know what you expect me to do. It seems to me that this is your mess. We have to come up with something. I can't just tell her the truth. It wasn't even really my idea in the first place. What? Then whose was it? I got the test answers from Trevor. Trevor? Then blame him. I can't just blame him for it. Why not? Do you want to retake the test? I don't. No, but he's not even in trouble. Mrs. Martin didn't mention him to me. Trevor's always in trouble for something. What does one more thing matter? <gasps> oh, why? Why are you so mean, Catherine? I guess so. It just doesn't seem right. Look, you know he'll take the blame for you, so why not do it? That doesn't make any sense. Why do you think he gave you the answers? I suppose he knows I'm not very good at math. Really? How sweet of him. Do you know something I don't? Apparently. Look, does it even matter why he did it? What are we going to do? What are you going to do, you mean? Ugh. So, obviously I like Trevor. Oh, and I really don't like Catherine, but I don't really want to get her in trouble either. But I don't want to have to redo a math test. Catherine's the bimbo that just doesn't care. and She's just going to keep picking on people. So we're going to blame Catherine. You know what? I think I'm just going to tell Mrs. Martin that was your idea. Don't you even dare. Why not? You were the one who got us all caught here. I didn't even need your stupid cheat sheet. I wish I hadn't bothered. Yeah, me too. Go ahead and tell her it was me. I'm not going to admit it if she asks. I'll tell her it was you and Trevor. Maybe I should talk to Trevor about this before I go back to Mrs. Martin. Just don't do anything stupid, okay? He's our easy way out of this. Yeah, alright. We'll see. This situation with the test is a mess. Ugh. Catherine it really is a mess. To ever admit to doing something wrong. Somehow she always manages to turn it around on someone else. Well, and by the kind of person that Catherine is, I really don't think it's going to be a problem for her to blame us. And if she's the popular kid, they're probably going to believe her. There's always something going on with Trevor. He's always in trouble for something. It's almost as if he enjoys it. Hmm. Hey, Trevor. Oh, hey, it's you. Ooh, comic? So how's your comic coming along? Can I read it yet? Trevor makes comics. Yeah. I wonder if his comics have band-aids on the side of the page, too. Ha, huh, no, it's not quite ready for reading. Ah, come on, you've been working on it for ages. I know, I've got loads of great sketches, but I'm not that great at writing. What if I write it for him? Would that work? What's it about? I haven't really got it all figured out yet. So, you don't even know what it's about? Of course I do. It's just sort of embarrassing. What? Now I need to know. Talking about it. I need to know, Trevor. Tell me. Seems interesting enough to me. I don't really read comics. Well, maybe I'll show you later. When I've drawn some of it. Cool. I'd like I've that. I've always been envious of Trevor's ability to draw. I wish I had a talent like that. I would like to know what the heck this comic is about, because if it's embarrassing for him to talk about, I don't know. Let's see what his thoughts are on Catherine, the school bitch here. Catherine was saying some weird stuff earlier. 
What's new? I mean, she keeps mentioning you to me. Like there's something going on I don't know about. There's nothing going on. I don't know why she has to keep getting involved in everyone's business. Are you sure you haven't said anything to her? Of course I haven't. Who do you trust? Her or me? I really just trust Elena. I don't really trust any of you. But I'm gonna go with Trevor. Uh, cause Catherine, I'm just not a fan of her. You're always honest with me. Look, don't worry about Catherine. She's just stirring things up. As always. It's not that she said anything bad. Whatever it is, she said. Just forget I mentioned it. Way to make me paranoid. Maybe Catherine's right about Trevor. But I don't hmm. want to deal with it at the moment. I've got enough problems already. Yeah. I guess we should deal with that test. About the math test I had. Oh yeah? Did it go all okay? Not really. What happened? You got caught with the answers? Somebody else got me caught. Somebody else? Nobody else knew about it. Oh, that's a boy. Ah, that's a girl voice. That's a girl voice. Somebody else? Nobody else knew about it. Oh, Trevor doesn't know that I gave Catherine the answers. Ah, uh, I don't want to tell him. Catherine had the exact same answers as me. That doesn't make any sense. Why would she write the same things? I kind of showed her the sheet you gave me. Ah, I told him. Well, of course, someone's going to notice that. You should have kept it to yourself. I know. I just... She's my friend. Catherine isn't anybody's friend. You just don't know her well enough. Well, she might just have got us all in trouble now. What are you going to do? I have to talk to Mrs. Martin about it. Oh man, that's bad. I know. I'll come up with something, okay? Um, I guess I should go. Okay, see you later maybe? Okay, see you later maybe? Sure, maybe. Alright, I think we need to decide what we're going to do about this test. I really don't like Catherine, but I don't think telling Mrs. Martin is really going to get us out of it at all. She's just going to blame us, and we're going to end up getting in trouble anyways. And then Trevor gets dragged into it. So, uh, I'm really leaning on just taking the test again. At least that way, Catherine doesn't... Catherine's big plan doesn't backfire on me and I don't get Trevor in trouble and it's just me that's in trouble well it's a good time to think long and hard before I really make my decision in the next episode thanks for joining me I'm Miss Biz and you're watching well now I'm really not quite sure what to do if I tell Mrs. Martin that Catherine did it, it's totally going to backfire on me. If I tell her Trevor did it, that's just mean, and I don't want to do that. So I think I'll just take the fault here and have to redo the math test myself. Ooh, really didn't want to have to do that, though. But I think that's for another day. Thanks for joining me in the game journal. I'm Ms. Spiz, and I hope you come back to figure out what happens.